Hello and welcome to Daytona Sandown Park for round four of the 2016 TW Steel D-Max Light Enduro Championship. Tom Sibley continues to lead the championship despite not winning a round so far this season. Joe Conroy is still second, even though he finished down in seventh at round three, with Tom Golding lying in third overall. And although Hackworth has won two rounds from three, he is only fifth in the championship. In qualifying, Tom Golding took pole position, Tom Sibley was second, and William Thomas was third. Over to Ben James and Richard Brunning for the commentary. I don't know, I'll just see how it goes. Turn right at the right corner, and then from there, you know, just see what happens. Got Tom ahead of me, so I think first part of the race might try and gap the rest of the pack with him and then spend the rest fighting with him, I guess. No Hackworth today. No Hackworth, so should be easy then. <laughs> I think we're on for a podium. The win will be pretty difficult though to get. Tom 1 and Tom 2 are looking very quick. And uh, um, I know P4 and P5 now are running very close to quality, so I reckon we can. I reckon I can beat him and maybe the guy in front, but yeah, podium's realistic for today. Um, you won the last time round here, yeah. uh, but you struggled on the first up, dropped down to like seventh. Yeah. So what will you do differently this time? Make sure I warm the tyres up a bit more uh, on the warm up lap. Um, make sure I'm a bit more aware of the cart behind where they're coming from, if they're going to go for a move or not. But hopefully I'll be going for a move myself into first corner, so hopefully I won't have to worry about that. If I can get up to a podium, that's probably going to be third place. It's probably going to be the highest start I can get. But we'll see. As high as I can get, basically. Yeah. I'm confident today. No hackway. I wish he was here, but yeah, um, Sibley's my main <laughs> competitor really. I need to beat him, I need to win, and I'm confident so it's good. Perfect racing conditions greeting the drivers today. Tom Golden with his second successive pole as he continues with his very serious championship bid in his second full season. Tom Sibley right there with him on the front row of the grid, who's leading the championship by 24 points over Joe Conroy. Conroy, however, way down the order in the 10th position, Richard. Yeah, he's going to need to go forward in this race uh, after struggling in qualifying. Drivers are getting quite animated with their tyre warming. Yeah, they just need to be careful not to uh, overdo it and stack it into the tyres. Cameron Musa Zadir starting 8th, that's a good uh, starting position for him. And Cameron Khan also in the top 10, starting 9th. So it should be quite a good race as we're about to get underway with 18 D Maxes about to start. And we're underway and a battle immediately for second place between Thomas and Sibley. And Thomas ahead. Yeah, but he's put himself on the wrong side for turn 2. And Sibley takes the inside and gets back up into second. Crowding round turn two there as we go on board with Leslie. Thomas snatches the rear right and getting out of shape there Leslie. A little nudge. And it's all switching around there from fifth all the way to the back of the pack. Always tight on the first lap with these cuts. Golding's made a bit of a break and Noble's up Alexander to third. Alexander gets punted there by Pullinger. He parked it on the kerb. He's not happy with that. No, he's all the way back to second last. So back on board with Leslie in the battle for fourth position behind Thomas. Ooh, what did no. Thomas do there? <laughs> he turned in too early, lost the momentum. He's got, he's got the line for turn four. He'll push Ben out wide. He's on the grass. Not going to be any good there. There's a sweet round veil now. Thomas has gathered it back up again. Now the light's probably a little faster than, than the other categories. Yeah, about 10 kilos is about half a second a lap. Can Leslie do him under braking here? Nope. Too far back. Have another pop in him, maybe Lex lap. Thomas is hunting over the steering wheel there. As they come round to complete lap three. And that's Pillinger taking 14th place from Glover. Nice little move up the inside of two. Bennett then hunting down Conroy for seventh place, looking quite close to him here. Yeah, it looks like Conroy's gone ahead a couple of places from his qualifying position. Back on board with Leslie as he pursues Thomas, he's dropped back there. Oh, and Thomas gets it all kinds of wrong he's looking at uh, Cameron Noble. Dropping way down the order now, William Thomas, as yeah. we look at the battle between Clark and Glover for 15th place. It's all going on. Oh, you're not going to take him around the outside. Just not close enough, was he? No, just, he wasn't on the right side there. On board with Sibby then, as he pursues Tom Golding for the lead of the race. Both setting some very good lap times here. And oh, yep, nice. Uh, Golding left right the door up on the open. Right the inside there, Sibley. And uh, takes the defensive line as we go into turn three. Can he stay ahead? He should be able to. But maybe Golding's got a run. No, he's uh, placed his cup beautifully there, and Sibley's in the lead. Nicely done. So lap 20 then. Sibley leads from Golding. Noble up to third from fifth. Khan up three places to fifth. Conroy six, having started 11th. And that's Thomas. 
down in ninth place following his spin earlier. So this is Golden then drafting Sibley for the lead, is it? Oh, but he's dropped it on the brakes. Oh, I can stacked it in the wall there. Oh, he was very lucky, last, but he's dropped a long way back from Sibley now. Late. Sibley then about to put a lap on Tansy Besant. Oh, oh, little tap. I think Tansy brake just a bit earlier than uh, Sibley was expecting. Oh, that was that was not good. And Conroy up on the inside there of Card for fifth place. Yep, nice little move. In his head and Sam Bennett get involved as well. Yeah, but he's got three to, abreast. He's on the marbles. That's not going to work. Mikey, Khan going defensive into turn three, and Conroy takes the racing line. He's got a good run out down the inside. Good move. Nothing Khan can do here. I don't think to, to keep ahead. What he and he's stacked in the wall. Yep, that's what he could do. Did he stack it or was he was he knocked off? No, I think he stacked it. We need to have a look a replay of that. As this then is William Thomas up on the inside no of Conroy. And oh. Evans gets ahead of Bennett for seventh place. It's the yellows out, I think, probably to recover Cameron Khan after his foray onto the grass. And this then is the replay from Sam Bennett's perspective on Khan's incident with the wall. Yep, that's Bennett was nowhere near him. I think he just uh, ran a little wide, stuck it on the grass and put it in the tyres. As Thomas gets ahead of Conroy for fifth place. So good recovery from Thomas so far. Down into ninth place and he's back up to fifth. It's the battle for first place as Golding goes up on the inside into turn six. That was last of the late breakers. A great move on the brakes at turn six. Class of the field these two, aren't they today? They're way ahead of the rest of them. So the lead is then coming round to put a lap on David Glover into turn three. Yeah, this could be Golding's chance. Well, Glover's seen them. He's run wide. Sibley pointed him where he wants to be. Yeah, but that's no good. Oh, oh. Golding's right there. Yep, and Glover got in the way, and, and Golding's that's the lead. full He's advantage. Taking the lead. Yep. This is Leslie then getting all out shape, trying to put a lap on Khan, and oh, William Thomas the, is right there. Yeah, opened the door, and Thomas drove straight through. And that is for fourth place. That's a great drive by Thomas. Can great. he go any further? So here we've got Bennett, Evans, and Conroy in a battle for sixth place. Conroy's holding that sixth at the moment. Mez is all over the back of him. Who's we'll drafting him up Ooh. on the inside? Oh, that's a brave pass up the Beautiful. inside of Vale. Pushes Conroy wide. Sam Bennett's through. Yep. Lost. And they run down now to turn six. Conroy was grateful for the room there. Bennett will have the line as they go into turn six and oh, oh and he's ahead and that is for seventh place on board with Conroy oh he gets a bit of a swapper on and Bennett's through <laughs> dropped it on the brakes he's having a bit of a toyed race this this round yeah he's not doing the best but uh, he's keeping on keeping on this sweet round veil the back markers ahead of him in their own battle this could get it tasty draft Sam Bennett here up on the inside. Yes! Cool. Oh, I don't want to get in each other's battles here. You've got back markers and the battle for sixth position. Lap 53. Golding leads over Sibley, Noble, Thomas, Leslie, Evans in six, Conroy seven, Bennett in eight, Damien ninth, and Musa Zadir in ten. And this is Conroy picking up a shed load of understeer at three. Oh, two of them through. He's really struggling with that turn three. Yeah. Don't know why. Damien there doing a really good job of defending against Musa Zadir in ninth place. Did he nudge him there? Maybe. This is a good race between these two. Great battle. A sweet round veil. Damien seemed to pull away, but now Zadir is gaining on him. That's a long way back for a pass. Flying down there. Oh! Oh, and he does nudge him this time. Oh, almost stacks it in the wall. <laughs> Last lap, Bennett's camera seems to wobble down slightly. He's on the inside there of Evans, and he gets ahead for sixth place on the last lap, Richard. Well done, Sam. Tom Golding then comes around to take the checkered and win round four of the TW Steel Light Enduro Championship, his first win of the season. Yeah, both uh, both Toms took it in turns to, uh, to lead the race, but uh, Mr. Golding managed to come out on top at the end. And they still seem to be friends after all of that. Well, it was a great race between the two of them. And let's just see how the drivers are feeling after that fantastic race. Well done, Tom. Thank you. First win of the season, mate. I really needed that. How was it for you? Oh, tiring. There's nothing I could do. I didn't give up right until the end, but, you know, fair play to him. There's some good battles there. This is a deal. My lead run. How was that? Good fun. Great battles with him. Very fair. Um, well, I crashed on around Third of the right, uh, around the third race. Yeah. Then um, got was down to about eight, and then managed to work my way back up. So it was good. Not a fantastic race, just lots of mistakes, really. Really? Yeah, little ones, but they, every single one cost me a position, basically. So never mind. Do better in the heat, hopefully. In the first half, I seemed to 
struggle, I don't know why, especially around the long corner at the bottom, I was just losing so much time and then thankfully the second half I seemed to pick it up a bit um, and then on the last lap, I wasn't expecting it but it opened the door a bit and I went out the inside so I was pretty happy, if, it, if I didn't do that move then I would have been been a bit disappointed, but with that move, it like, made me a bit feel a bit better about the result. A local track to me, Sandown, so I'm quite experienced at it. I like the alternate layout. Um, yeah, it was uh, yeah, good race, uh, tiring though. So yeah. And a good battle with Sam Bennett. Uh, yes, um, I think he had me most of the way. I think he was just waiting to, to choose his moment, um, which he did on the final lap. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was good good battle what we what we had going on out there. So William, that's an incredible race for you because you started third and then you spun off and now you ended up in third. That's impressive. Yeah, well, I was annoyed about the mistake but managed to get back up into third, which I'm pleased about. Didn't hang around with the overtaking, which was good. And overall, pretty good race. And we were saying in race control, we were wondering, just before you overtook Tom, we were saying maybe he's just going to stay behind him and just gain the championship point and just keep the consistency, but you were brave. Yeah, I did think that initially, but he left the door open going into turn two, and then that's when I went for it, and then I thought, I thought actually, you know what, maybe the winners yeah. is possible. But he, he pulled a, a brilliant move into turn six, I mean, you'll probably see it later. But You guys remind me, and it sounds funny to say, of like Rosberg and Hamilton, because you, you're really good friends, well actually they're not as good friends now, but what is it like to race against such a good friend? Uh, mutual respect probably the main thing really. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's good to have a bit of banter afterwards with each other. Definitely. Unless he loses, in which case he gets the hump. So. so Tom, your first win of the season, because you've had quite a lot of bad luck at the previous rounds. However, Tom is Tom Sibley is still ahead in the championship, but great racing today, you defended so well. Yeah, um, Tom was really quick and I had to stay really consistent, not check looking over my shoulder because I knew he'd be there. Um, and fair play to him. He's uh, He's done his homework, you know, he's really quick around here. Last night I was worried. I couldn't even speak to him, I had to go home, just put my head down early. And then I felt really good this morning and it paid off maximum points, so it's good. So you say you felt really good this morning. Do you mean mentally yourself in your head you felt really ready, top form? Yeah, good night's sleep and yeah. I was 110% when I got here. And you like to psych yourself up with some music, don't you? <laughs> yeah, always got some crazy music going on before the race or all the way on the way. Any spears? Yeah, really? you, you got me. <laughs> no. Well, well done. If you'd like to race in the D Max Championship, visit our website or call this number.